Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're Performance Agile. I'm Eric. And I'm Vince. And on our last video, we talked why do corporations go agile? Now we're going to talk about what is agile. So today we're going to start off our, our video with, with a quote as we would typically do. Today's quote is from Steve Jobs. It's from 1997 at the Think Different campaign. And he launched into this speech with, here's to the crazy ones. But what we really want to zero in on is how he closed this speech. And he closed the speech by saying, the ones who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones that do. And that is so appropriate and applicable to our conversation today. So Eric, what is Agile? So Agile, as we think about it, is an umbrella term. And underneath this umbrella, there is a lot of different tools, techniques, process, methodologies, philosophies that have been enabled by the Agile Manifesto, which is four values and 12 principles. And as we think about this, when we think about the process, when we think about the different frameworks and the different techniques, mm -hmm. we need to make clear that it is not just one framework or one technique. You know, there's been a lot of conversation that Agile is Scrum, which is incorrect. Scrum is one of the many processes and techniques that roll up under Agile, mm -hmm. this umbrella, this collective, but there's also Kanban, the Rational Unified Process. There's also DSDM, Crystal, and we, we could keep going, but there are many different ways that Agile allows us to think about work. That's correct. And so we will um, continue to talk about this Agile mindset, right? These, these philosophies that go into organizational change. So when we apply Agile to a transformation, there's lo a lot of decisions that need to be made and applied to how you're going to, how your organization is going to approach this transition organizationally um, from top to bottom. So I had briefly mentioned that Agile is made up of four values and 12 principles, but it comes from the Agile Manifesto. So what is the Agile Manifesto? That's a great question. So the Agile Manifesto was the outcome and the output, if you will, of a meeting of 17 guys that got together in Snowbird, Utah in 2001. Um, and so that, that whole activity, that whole group of people and, and what came out of that is why today's quote is so applicable, right? Because they were the guys that decided to get together and talk about you know, what is not going right in all of their world. So they came from a variety of different backgrounds and they were like, there's got to be a better way to do this. You know, this right. is, we're dying here. We're getting killed. You know, uh, managers are, 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 are beating us up and, and, you know, we're being blamed for everything. There's got to be a better way. So for whatever reason, um, they they decided to get together and, and come up with this Agile Manifesto wow, has it really revolutionized and, and changed, evolutionized, if you will, not revolutionized uh, the way businesses today do their business. So we're going to talk a little bit about those four values and those 12 principles because we could probably kill an hour um, just talking about those alone. So we're just going to hit the highlights. What specifically um, is the difference in those four values that we talk about in the Agile Manifesto? Sure. So the four values in the Agile Manifesto, it is uncovering a better way to do things. And those gentlemen in 2001, when they came up with this Agile Manifesto, their intent was for software, but this has been applied to many different industries now. But the values, the four values, they say they want to promote individuals and interactions over processes and tools. They want to focus on working software over comprehensive documentation. They want to focus on customer collaboration rather than contract negotiation. And they want to respond to change rather than follow a plan. And this is not to say that they don't have processes and tools. They're not saying they don't have documentation. This is not saying that's correct. There's no contract negotiation and they're not saying there's no plan. It's just they don't want to spend so much time focusing on that. They can't do the other things. That's right. The emphasis on what's really important. That's right. That's right. So, so that's, a, that's a great call out um, on, on these four um, values. So now the four values, what they do is they explode into the 12 principles. The 12 principles. So if we talk about the 12 principles now, uh, what, what are some of the, uh, the key things or really what's 
missing from these 12 values? Do they talk about frameworks or tools or anything like that in, in any of these 12 principles? Not at all. He's, he's completely correct. If you look through the 12 principles, you do not see that you should use Scrum. You do not see that you should use Kanban. It's just, we should focus on the customer. We should deliver value to the customer. We should deliver value frequently. That might sound familiar to some of you. That might sound like you're, you're the framework you're using at your company because that's using the agile principles that have been laid out here, but it doesn't say this is Scrum, this is Kanban. It's, these are principles that we came up with to make better, more valuable software for our customers with a emphasis on the customer. That's correct. So, you know, a lot of this, and it might sound really technology focused. Um, we're talking about teams. We're talking about working products and here where they really talk about working software. Uh, but as we just mentioned, these, these values and principles are being applied to everything everywhere now. Um, so it, let's just say working products, right? That's the measure of, of success. That's the measure of progress. That's the measure of, of values, customer satisfaction, right? All, all of those different things, but it doesn't just live in technology, right? It, 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 it spans the entire organization. And, and that's the beauty of what came out of you know, that meeting in 2001, this Agile Manifesto, it is being interpreted and applied in so many ways in so many areas um, than just technology, where I think a lot of these people lived and where the focus was uh, at the time um, in 2001. So we've said that the Agile Manifesto, the four values and the 12 principles are uh, we could take an hour probably going through each and every one. Uh, I think you would agree that as we talk about those 12 principles, I think people interpret them in, in, a, in a variety of different ways. Yes, I would agree with that. Would you also agree then that if we were to just summarize, um, you know, the Agile Manifesto, what is Agile? That Agile is a mindset. Yes. That is what? It is the four values, the 12 principles, which brings about many different practices, many different methodologies, many different techniques and mm -hmm. philosophies that can be applied to any industry. Yes. Any project or product, mm -hmm. but uh, it can be applied at the team level, the organizational level, the department, the venue, you name it. It can be applied in any situation, anywhere. That's true. Actually, you know, principles of, of Agile and some of the frameworks and the tools can be used at home. If you are a parent and you have kids, right, you can set up your chores using, you know, Agile principles and tools. Set up a condom. Um, right. Absolutely. Um, now, uh, to, to, just to make make it complete, um, there is there is an Agile onion, if you will. And this Agile onion um, is is it. it shows that um, what is less visible and more powerful and what is more visible and less powerful. Um, so when we when we look at the onion and it's very in its layers, we've got tools and processes at the very bottom and it's the smallest inner circle of this onion. Right. Right. So that's more visible it's and it's visible. less less powerful. Right. So when as we go through practices, principles, values, and, and mindset, mindset being at the outermost layer, it is the less visible aspect of Agile, but it is the most powerful. Yes. Right. So, you know, that, um, you know, it moves towards, you know, a learning organization, right? Mm -hmm. Where where the middle layers, you know, requ require stru structural change um, and cultural change. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the practices and the tools and the processes um, can be adopted, you know, in, in many other, you know, anywhere, right? Your, your command and control style of right. leadership and organization. Right. So, so this is just a variety of different ways to, to understand or to think about, you know, what is Agile. That's right. So what do you say? Are we ready to, to wrap this up? And that's it, folks. Thanks for spending your time with us uh, on this video. Uh, we sure are glad that you're here. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give us a like, um, leave your comments below, and we will see you on the next video.